What's up guys, it's Alex Dam. So it's just past eight o'clock, so I'm gonna head to the gym soon in about five minutes. So I decided to start off the vlog pretty late on in the day today, because basically I've just been at work all day, so I just got home about an hour and a half ago, so I didn't have much to vlog. But I thought the best way to start the vlog would be starting it off by making some gains. So yeah, gonna hit an arm workout, and then do some abs, and then do some cardio as well. So as you know, I've got a back injury, and honestly, it's still not 100% yet. Unfortunately, it sucks. I want it to be gone 100%, but you know, what can you do? Just let it, I just gotta let it rest more and heal. So I'm scheduled to do a pool day, but I'm not gonna train back just because I haven't trained back in two to three weeks, allowing this to recover. I've even been taking days off from, from the gym completely, back rolling every day, trying to rehab it. it. Still hasn't went away, so I'm probably gonna go see a doctor pretty soon or a physiotherapist, um, just to see, get it really checked out and see what's really going on. And hopefully if I get someone to actually massage it and you know, use their magical hands, whatever they do with physiotherapy to try and get rid of the problem because I'm sick of this and I just want to go back to training back because I recently incorporated deadlifts into my routine and I was really excited about that and it made training feel really fresh and new because I was doing something new which I know deadlifts sounds weird to be new because I wasn't actually doing it before which is weird to most people I'm guessing, but yeah, I actually never had it in my training program. But I recently incorporated it and then I got injured right after, so I'm really excited to rehab my back to 100% and get back to deadlifting because it's actually a lot, a lot of fun and I should have started a lot earlier. So as you can see, my hair is pretty long and messy. It's not that nice and clean. There is actually a specific reason for that. So today is Saturday night, right? On Tuesday, guess what? I'm so fucking excited. Drake is coming to Australia. It's gonna be the Boy Meets World Tour and I'm actually going to the fucking concert. I'm so fucking excited and guess what? You're coming with me because I'm gonna vlog the whole thing. So get pumped and excited for that. And if you wanna watch that video, it'll. I think it's gonna be the next video after this. Make sure you subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification because that's gonna allow YouTube to actually notify you when the video goes live. And yeah, you can watch that vlog because it's gonna be super fucking epic and I can't wait to film it and record it. It's gonna be an awesome day and it's gonna be even better because I'm taking you with me. All right, so got my OCD pre-workout. Time to head to the gym and make some fucking gains. Let's go.
so it's just past 11 o'clock. Just got home from the gym. On the way home, I actually stopped at the petrol station, which is very close to my house, and I bought this Golden Gay Time cookie. What is it? Golden Gay Time Sangha. I actually tried this yesterday. It tastes fucking amazing. It says it's new, so it must be like a new release, new product that they have. Um, this is not a sponsored video, and I'm not sponsored by Gay Time, <laughs> obviously, but honestly, it's amazing. It tastes so good, so that is like my post workout meal, along with the pizza that I have to finish off that is also gonna be a part of my post-workout meal for today. Yeah, I was actually gonna record when I was at the petrol station and just, yeah, saying that, okay, I'm gonna get in there and buy the thing. But the reason I didn't vlog while I was there is because there was fucking junkies at the front and it was absolutely scary. It was extremely fucking scary because I actually thought I was gonna like get attacked or something because people that are on, I'm guessing they were on like ice or something are so fidgety and twitchy and like unpredictable and you just have no clue what the fuck they're gonna do so I was like you know what I'm just gonna get go in there I'm not gonna pull out the camera I'm just gonna go in there buy it come home and talk to you guys back here anyways in a more safe and comfortable environment but yeah um, so one thing that I want to clear up is a lot of people are probably seeing me eating ice cream and there are two things that they're mainly concerned about is one of them is probably why the fuck you're eating so late at night, 11 p.m. And also, why are you eating ice cream and pizza so late at night also? So let's get one thing straight right out in the beginning. The timing of your meals has nothing to do with whether you gain weight or lose weight, literally zero. The time that you have your meals has nothing to do with it. So for example, eating really late at night is not actually what determines whether you put up body fat, or whether you build muscle, whether you lose body fat. It's your total calories at the end of the day and your total macronutrients. So today I've only eaten about, I think, 2,500 calories. That's a rough estimate. And I still have about 800 calories to go because I eat 3,300 every day. And I track my macros. So basically I can eat whatever I want as long as I fit within the macro totals that I need by the end of the day, which is about 185 grams of protein, 330 grams of carbs, and about 100 grams of fat. So as long as I hit those numbers at the end of the day, when I total it in my fitness pal, which calculates it all for me, I can literally eat whatever I want to eat to, in, but I, like I can literally eat whatever I want, but I just need to achieve those numbers at the, at the end of the day. So I can't necessarily eat whatever I want, like have a cheat day, just eating fucking shitty foods all the time. I actually have to be conscious and track all of it. But I do hit those numbers every day, and therefore I can enjoy foods that I want such as this fucking Golden Gate Time Sangha as a post-workout thing because it tastes really nice. So yeah, that's a. So yeah, that's the whole concept of like flexible dieting and if it fits your macros. And that's why I don't have like a set meal plan. And there's no sort of I don't have any restrictions on the foods that I'm allowed to eat, but that I obviously have restrictions on the amount of calories I consume and the amount of and also not just restrictions on the calories that I can, the amount of calories I consume, but also where I consume those calories. So your calories are made up of protein, carbohydrates, and fat. And so that's where I have to be strict and I have to hit those numbers every single day and make sure they're accurate. And that's gonna to lead to the results that I wanna get. That's basically what you need to track if you wanna get results. All right, so it's just past 11.30 and I finished off my meals. So basically I'm just gonna chill out for the rest of the night and also I'm gonna drink my OxySleep now. Yeah, so just finish off the OxySleep, chill out for a little bit, maybe do some stretching and stuff just to help out with my back and my legs are a little bit sore from leg day and then yeah, go to sleep. But don't worry, it's not the end of the vlog and it's not the end of the video either because I'm actually gonna vlog tomorrow as well and show you what I get up to, so I'll see you then. Kind of shredded, just a tiny bit.
Good morning guys, so it's the next day. Well, technically it's not actually the morning because it's actually one o'clock, but it's all right. You get what I'm trying to say. So I haven't really done too much this morning and I haven't really eaten anything either. All I've had is a protein bar, a new one that I tried out and actually I'll talk about it a little bit later on in the video. So yeah, just had a protein bar. So I'm gonna go now to buy some supplements and grab some food as well because I need to start eating. Otherwise, I'm not gonna hit my calories for the day and that's not allowed to happen when you're bulking. You're always gonna make sure you get in all of your calories if you wanna make those gains. And today is actually a scheduled rest day as well, so you're not gonna be going to the gym today. So that's why I decided to vlog last night so I could make sure I get some workout footage for the vlog and then I would vlog today during my rest day, which is the things where I'm gonna do some miscellaneous stuff and get some things done for the day. And also I didn't go grocery shopping because usually I go in the morning, but it was raining and I walk to do my grocery shopping, to do some cardio, and it, it's very close to my house as well, so I decided to walk there. But because it was raining, I didn't actually end up going. So I'm either gonna end up going later on tonight, about 20 minutes before the shops close, so it's dead, and there's no one there, so it's like nice and quick, so I don't have to wait in line. Or I'm just gonna go tomorrow morning, or something like that. Either way, I'll figure it out. All right, so it's time to get out of the house and buy some stuff, let's go. just started piercing down rain. Holy shit. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> All right, so made it safe and sound to the destination. So that was actually pretty cool. I caught it on camera. It was completely dry, and then all of a sudden, it just came down raining really hard. So that was pretty cool that I got that on camera. And so it pissed down rain for like two seconds, and then went away. So that was pretty weird. I guess it's just like, I guess it depends on the geography. Like I was on top of the cloud that was full of rain coming down, and then as I went past it, the rain stopped. Anyways, doesn't fucking matter. So I'm quickly gonna go in there, Buy some supplements, so yeah, make a quick stop in there. Maybe buy some like little snacks or something, I'll see. And then I'm gonna grab a meal, probably gonna get a burrito and chips. I'm not too sure. The thing is, I have to get a pretty high calorie meal because I know I'm starting off this, I'm starting off eating pretty late on in the day because it's like past one o'clock and I haven't even eaten yet. So I really need to start demolishing these calories if I'm gonna hit 3,300. So yeah, I'm gonna quickly go do this stuff now. 20 minutes later. Alright, so I'm back in the car. Got the stuff right here. I'll show you a little bit later on when I get home what I actually got. And I got some food. So I got a burrito and chips, which I'll show you on the screen somewhere. It was very tasty, delicious, very satisfying. I'm feeling really good now. Alright, so time to head home. But actually on the way home, I'm going to make a quick little stop. So I'll see you then in a little bit. Alright, so I'm vlogging and driving, highly not recommended because it's actually very dangerous. But yeah, I had to make a quick stop at 7-Eleven, bought a dare ice coffee for later today, and also bought some Monster Energy drink cans just for the week, and I fucking love them, and I'm basically addicted to them. And now I'm also going to make another quick stop because my sister wants some food, so I'm going to get some McDonald's. They're not going to get any for me, it's just for her. Don't worry, I don't really eat McDonald's ever. The only time I'd really eat it is for a food challenge, but uh, for YouTube. So yeah, that's basically it. So yeah, I'll be home pretty soon. How can I get you? Hi, can I get a McChicken meal, please? Yep, large. Uh, medium. And Coke. can, sorry? Coke for the drink. Yep, and can I also get Big Mac sauce on the side, please? Anything else? That's all, thank you. Jackie, thanks. Okay. Sorry, that was the most horrible angle ever. Alright, so I'm back home. I'll quickly show you what I got from the supplement store. So I got a Halo Top ice cream. This is the sea salt caramel flavor. Gonna have that later on today. Got a Quest Bar, Rocky Road, because I really want to try this flavor. See if it's nice. 
and got these fat burning tablets. They're not for me because I'm obviously bulking. They're actually for my sister. So yeah, that's all I got from the supplement shop. Uh, from the supplement shop and then 7-Eleven got this dare ice coffee chose this flavor because it's the lowest calorie option And I like the taste of all of the flavors So I might as well get the lowest calorie option and then yeah, just got some monster energy cans the zero calorie ones Because I'm actually addicted to them and um, I'm not ashamed to say that I've been staying away from them for as long as I can But once I started drinking them, I knew I wouldn't be able to stop but I try not to drink too many just one a day Never more than that and some days I don't even drink one anyway, so I wouldn't really call it an addiction But yeah, I do like drinking them for sure Okay guys, so it's a little bit later on in the day What I'm gonna do now is record the commentary for the workout video which I'm gonna be posting tomorrow So it's gonna be an arm workout So as you can see this is my my little booth or station or working area So basically I just got my laptop here, which I'm gonna watch the footage on and I'm not too sure if you can see this, but this is my blue snowball microphone. That's what I use to actually record the commentary and the voiceover. It's a nice little setup because it's portable so I can take it wherever I want and do commentaries wherever I need to, whenever I want, which is awesome. So yeah, quickly gonna do this now and I'll just do a little time lapse of me. Um, so I'll just speed up the footage, so yeah. What's up guys, it's Alex Dam. So today I'm gonna to bring you a bicep workout. So this whole workout is gonna be targeting your biceps. All right, so just wrapped up that commentary. So I am a happy man. I've got my Halo Top ice cream. I'm gonna enjoy this now and then I'll check in with you a little bit later. Alright, so it is my rest day, but I am just going to make some BCAAs now. It's late at night, so I'm just chilling out, just going to sip on some BCAAs for some extra recovery. And they're really good to help keep you anabolic, so yeah, perfect for a rest day. And even on training days, of course, I drink them during my workout, but I like to have them sometimes, even on a rest day. Alright guys, so I'm going to wrap up the vlog here because I'm pretty much just going to chill out for the rest of the night and then head to sleep. But get excited, get keen because the next vlog, or the next video actually, is going to be the Drake vlogs. So it's currently Sunday night and so it's not tomorrow or Monday, it's on Tuesday. So I'm fucking super excited to see Drake, never seen him live. I've always wanted to see him for quite a while. I love his music, always puts me in a good mood. So yeah, I'm super excited to see Drake. And um, that vlog is going to be fucking lit, so I'm even more excited to be filming it and go there and take you guys along with me to show you the experience. And yeah, it'll just make my experience even funner because I'm able to share the experience with you guys, which makes it even funner. So yeah, that's going to be fucking awesome. Alright, so that is the end of the video. I just want to thank you for watching. If you enjoyed it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. And always remember to keep the pump.